Family app. Y también cómo tener acceso a la aplicación de familia de CISO. And how to communicate with your, um, your child's teacher through CISO. Y cómo también comunicarse con la maestra o el maestro de su niño por el sistema de CISO. So, one second, Sean. Yes. Rafael, you don't have to repeat this. Sean, I'm going to take care of the waiting room so you don't worry about it. Okay, good. Okay, we can keep going. Sorry. Sean, unmute yourself. Yeah, I know. <laughs> okay. Dr. White Wallace muted me. So, today um, we want to talk about why the district picked Seesaw as a way of communication. And one of the reasons they picked it was because it's child friendly. Hoy vamos a discutir eh, por qué el sistema escolar escogió este sistema de CISO como eh, plataforma para comunicarse y lo escogieron porque es fácil para los niños eh, tener acceso a ello. And the students can work independently as they grow on the program. Y los estudiantes pueden eh, eh, aprender, eh, trabajar eh, independientemente cuando van creciendo con el programa. So I want to show you a clip on how to access Seesaw from your iPad. Le quiero enseñar eh, cómo tener acceso eh, al sistema CISO por su iPad. Rafael, this is in English. So if you need me to pause it and interpret, let me know. Okay. So let's do small clips and Hi, let me show you how you can access the apps from the Mount Vernon provided iPad. It's very low on my end. Vamos a enseñarle cómo tener acceso eh, al programa de CISO por su iPad. Yeah, the volume is really low. I can hardly hear it. Okay. Let's see if I can make it louder. I heard a little better. Are you sharing the sound on your computer, Sean? Yes, I believe I am. Sign on. You're putting in your credentials, your password, and your email address just once. And you'll be able to access things like Seesaw and Waterford. It's very low, but I think I hear about necesitar su way. They can now access, there's a single sign on, and they'll access Waterford and Seesaw once they sign in through the class link here. Cuando firme ahí eh, por el, el link de la clase, what was the rest? Uh, they'll sign, put in their student credentials, and I'll show the student credentials, and then they'll be able to access Seesaw. Pueden poner las credenciales del estudiante y puede tener acceso al programa de Seesaw. Okay, I'm gonna just... Through the class link app. So I'm gonna tap on class link. Put in my student So you tap on class link, and they'll put in the student credentials. Cuando eh, ponen en, en class link, puede poner los credenciales de, del estudiante. Credentials, swiping down to get the numbers. And then I'm puede entrar los números. They have to swipe down. Tiene que bajar hacia abajo para poner los números. The email address. And then they would just type in Mount Vernon CSD. Entonces pondrán en Mount Vernon CSD. Dot org. Punto org. I'm going to put in my password. Con Entonces ponen la clave. And then it's going to launch me into the class link. Now they're into entrar class. Entonces a la clase. I'll have access to all of the apps that are provided for me as a student. Y tiene entonces acceso a todas las aplicaciones que eh, están disponibles para el estudiante. Please now. 
and it will take me in to my student account. Entramos a la cuenta del estudiante. And, and if I have more than one account, I'll just come up to the top, pick my class. Vamos arriba, entonces le damos a la clase. The activities that have been assigned to me. Then they can see the activities that are assigned to that student and they can just click on the activities. Entonces usted puede ver las actividades que le son asignadas a ese estudiante y puede entonces eh, presionar eh, la asignación del estudiante. So this, I'm going to take um, us through those steps. Go ahead, Dr. White Wallace. So this is very important. Esto es muy importante. Because in your child's schedule, porque en el horario de su, de su niño, your children have digital work time. Sus niños tienen eh, un tiempo de trabajo digital que le dan cierto, cierto tiempo para un trabajo. This is where they will complete their classwork and homework during that time. Aquí es donde ellos van a completar las asignaciones de la clase y también sus tareas durante ese tiempo. So I'm going to now log in as a student. I want to show you what a student activity will look like. Yo voy entonces ahora a entrar como si fuera una estudiante para enseñarle cómo va, se va a ver las asignaciones de, del estudiante. But when we're in there, I want us to think about what the student is seeing. Y cuando estemos ahí, eh, vamos entonces a, a ver lo que el estudiante está mirando. Are they hearing anything? Si están oyendo algo. And do they touch or interact with anything? Y si tocan o tienen eh, alguna interacción con algo. And think about what the caretaker or parent needs to do to assist the student. Y también pensar en lo que debe hacer el, el que está cuidando el niño o el padre, lo que debe hacer para ayudarle al estudiante. So this is what the digital tools will look like when you log in for your, to see saw. These might be some of the tools. Así es, es que se van a ver las herramientas eh, que usted va a ver cuando el estudiante entra al sistema de CISO. They can take photos. Ellos pueden tomar fotos. Drawings. Pueden dibujar. Um, videos. Pueden tomar videos. Write a note. Pueden eh, escribir una nota. If they have some um, other things they could upload or share a link in response to an activity. Ellos pueden eh, enseñar algún enlace o pueden eh, entrar algo como parte del trabajo. Excuse me, can I ask a question? Yes. Uh, like um, when I try to upload the voice, the voice recording, because I did some uh, with my son, it doesn't let the upload voice recording. Only when you do it in the app, not from when it's stored in the um, iPad. So when you're up, it's a little difficult to upload from the iPad in that aspect because the content might not be there. And if it's, it's probably blocked in some ways, if you're using the, um, the district device. And I can look into that a little bit further. If you reach out to your teacher, we can maybe find out a little bit more on what, how we can avoid that. Does that, I hope that helps. Yes, so thank you. In, okay, great. I'm gonna go in as a student. Now, mind you, I'm Voy using a, a desktop. And I'm going to work on an activity as Voy a student. trabajar en una actividad como si fuese un estudiante. I just want to There were instructions given to the student. Hay, yo, hay instrucciones que se le dan al estudiante. Now, some of our students can't read this, but they can be recorded and read to the students by the teacher. Algunos de los estudiantes no pueden leer eso, pero puede ser grabado y leído al estudiante por la maestra o el maestro. And the students will get to know these icons. 
y los estudiantes van a aprender a ver estos, eh, estos símbolos, a reconocer estos símbolos. Okay. This one's to draw. Este es para dibujar. And this one's to check when you're done and then y done este, again. To este send es para it to the chequear teacher. cuando ya haya terminado. So over here, when I see an activity, Aquí, I, have, cuando yo vea una actividad, I have tools I can use to respond. Tengo herramientas que yo puedo usar para responder. The student can write their name. El estudiante puede escribir su nombre. I'm going to use the drawing tools. Voy a usar la herramienta de dibujar. And they can pick different colors if they want. Y pueden escoger diferentes colores si quieren. So I can just use that and move on. I can go to the next act page. Sometimes there's going to be multiple pages. A veces hay varias páginas. Puedo entrar a la próxima página. I see how many firehouses. Yo veo cuántas eh, casas de bomberos. One, uno. Una. <laughs> As a student, though, I can also record my response. Como estudiante, también puedo, puedo eh, grabar mi respuesta. I'll demonstrate that now. Y voy a demostrar eso ahora. I clicked on the mic. It's going to Le start. El micrófono y va a comenzar. And I could say, I see two fire trucks. Y yo puedo entonces decir, yo veo dos carros de bomberos. And I'll click done. Y cuando termine, puedo decir terminé. And now here I can play that back. Y ahí entonces puedo eh, oír lo que grabé. And it would record my um, response. Y ahí entonces And grabaría I, mi respuesta. So, now it's Yo veo dos fun. carros de bomberos. And I'll click down. So they can, multi they can do this in multiple ways to answer y the questions. Pueden hacer esto eh, de múltiples maneras para dar la respuesta a la pregunta. So that's one way to use an activity or the teachers will be asking for an activity within the presentation. Does Eso anybody una, have any questions? Una manera de hacer la actividad cuando la maestra pida hacer una, una actividad. ¿Alguno de ustedes tienen una, alguna pregunta? Yes, uh, for the recording. Um, uh, I had an assignment, I mean, my son had an assignment and uh, like, five different pages with five different recordings that he had to pronounce the word. And and it only let me actually record him maybe like three out of the five. The rest, it was said and like it was full. It could not record more. La señora Coy dice que ella tuvo problemas eh, eh, grabando, que solo la dejaba grabar eh, tres, tres respuestas y no más. So there is some kind of... I'm sorry. There's I'm asking sometimes... if somebody else had this problem. Alguno, alguna otra persona tiene ese problema? I guess not. I'm sure that they do. And it will come up from time to time because when one person has a problem, it usually have, repeats itself. But there is a limitation. I'll check in to see what the limitation is on how many pages. But it should be able to, you should be able to do it on each page. Algunos de ustedes tendrán este eh, problema porque a veces eh, hay un límite de la, las páginas de respuestas que se puede dar. Pero ella va a chequear a ver cuál es el límite de páginas o de respuestas que se pueden eh, grabar. So when the child though is done, we're just going to click on the, you can click on the draft and the draft will allow the student to go back. Cuando el niño termine, el estudiante termina, puede darle a draft y entonces eso... Le, le permite volver hacia atrás. And when they're finished, they'll just click on the response and it will upload it and send it back to the teacher and the teacher will get a notification that their work is done and can um, mark off that it's completed and make a comment back to the student. Cuando terminen entonces ya lo puede mandar y la maestra entonces va a ver 
que la respuesta le llegó y entonces puede hacer un comentario y mandárselo eh, de respuesta al estudiante. Ok. So that's how that works and you can work with the students on that. Um, Así es que esto trabaja y pueden trabajar con el estudiante con eso. Any questions? Alguna pregunta? Um, I have a question. What's the difference between uploading through the journal and uploading through the um, drawing the tool? Activities? In the activities, when they're uploading through the activities, um, the journal is actually where it is keeping log of the student's work. So that if I were clicking on a different, on a student, it would show me all their work and, and log in there. So it's really the activities in the journals are the same. It's just how you access the, acti the um, work and content. Let me go back and see if I can show you. So here is the journals for the students. Aquí está el jornal de los estudiantes. And when I'm in here as the journal, I'm going to see my work that needs to be done. When I'm in here as the activities. Cuando I estoy aquí see... con el jornal, puedo ver las actividades que hay que completar. Y cuando estoy en actividad. I can also act activate access the act. Um, the activity. When I'm in here as a student, though, the journal is going to look a little bit different. It's going to say work to be done. Cuando estoy aquí como pro... estudiante, se va a ver diferente. Va a decir de trabajo que hay que completar. Work to be processed trabajo or in progress. O que está en, en, en progreso. And work completed. So y it'll look. Trabajo que se ha completado. So you're accessing it there. If your question is what this button is, this is where they can do some independent work and upload and do assignments themselves there, the student can. Si su pregunta es, ¿cuál es el botón ese de añadir? Ese es el botón donde puede presionar para hacer algún trabajo independiente. Let me get back to my... Any other questions? I don't, I hope I answered that, made it a little more clear. Alguna otra pregunta? I have a question. Sure, Dr. White. So my question is, I know that we are all busy parents and I am the parent of a third grader and my daughter's school is actually gonna be going to Seesaw. So keeping up with assignments is difficult is there a way in Seesaw, and you don't have to show it, um, that will let me know if my child is missing an assignment? Like, does it catalog that? Is there a way to see that? Well, if you're in the journal, it would show you work to be completed, you know, work to do, the work to be um, in progress, and the work that was completed. So anything that's in the work to be done is the work that they need to complete. You can check out what works, what's completed. Thank you so much, Ms. Rowan. La señora, eh, la señora, eh, la doctora Gail White preguntó que si eh, eh, hay alguna manera de, de ver si el niño no ha completado algo. Todos estamos ocupados y a veces eh, eh, no tenemos tiempo para eh, chequear, revisar. Si hay alguna manera que se puede ver si Eh, hay algo que el niño no ha completado. No, I have no, a question. Yes. Uh, on the family app, it doesn't show that. Only if I log into his CISO, but not on mine, because I have the family app on my iPhone. So when I'm working and the teacher, you know, I mean, when she uh, approves the work, I get it posted, then I get the notification, but not when it's actually posted for him to be done. Is there something maybe you're working in the future for that, that I can know when something is posted so I can know, I can let know, let's say the caregiver or something, you know, 
do this or don't do it or I'll do it when I get home. Not until I get home and see that he's missing like six assignments. Well, I'm, just... I mean, I'm out, I work and I'm a student also myself and I have another daughter of uh, 13 years old. So sometimes like uh, Dr. White said, it's kind of hard to keep track of everything. Yeah, and that's so great. You're actually giving us our segue into our next section, right, Shawnee Pawnee? So um, there is a difference between the family app and the student app. Yeah, hay una diferencia entre la aplicación del estudiante y la aplicación de la familia. So I'm going to let Sean talk about that as she begins to talk about the family app. So, Voy a it, dejar entonces que la señora Sean Rowan hable de eso cuando comience a hablar de la aplicación familiar. But before we talk about the family app. Pero antes de que hablemos de la aplicación de la familia familiar. I want to answer a question in the chat box. Quiero dar la respuesta a una pregunta que hicieron en el, la, la caja del de chat. So, Sean, your question is, can you explain what work in progress means? Yes. Si puedes explicar lo que es eh, eh, trabajo que esté en proceso, en progreso. Yes, so a work in progress is a draft or a work that's not completed and has not been sent to the teacher for approval. Pro, eh, pro, eh, es solo el trabajo de en progreso quiere decir que es algo que está eh, en proceso y no se le ha enviado a la maestra para que sea aprobado. So that's where the difference would be. I'm working on it now. I haven't submitted it or handed it in. Eso quiere decir que están trabajando en esa asignación y que no lo ha entregado o no lo han sometido para que sea aprobado. Now I want to just add. Y quiero añadir. About the family app. De la aplicación familiar. We have somebody drawing on my, my, my page. So anyway, um, with the family app, I will bring that to Seesaw, your request about notifications of when an assignment is assigned. But we'll talk a, a little bit more. Voy a llevarle eso de la, la aplicación familiar que ustedes quieren saber cuando sepan que un trabajo ya se ha completado. Ms. Campbell raised her hand. Do you have a question, Ms. Campbell? Um, good evening, everyone. Um, out of curiosity, I know that my daughter's teacher said that they were no longer going to use Class Dojo as a form of communication. I know that for the family app for the Seesaw, it's asking for a password and username. When I put my daughter's information in, it's not giving me access. So I wanted to know what information do we put in since Class Dojo was no longer going to be a form of communication um, between the teacher and myself. Well, La señora Campbell, Campbell pregunta que si ya el sistema de dojo no eh, se va a usar, que qué claves entra entonces para entrar a, al programa nuevo. Miss Campbell, if you, I was in person and I had a piece of chocolate, I'd give you a piece of chocolate for that question. It's a great question and a great segue. Buena pregunta. Dice que si tuviera un pedazo de un chocolate, se lo diera a la señora Campbell como... Eh, por una buena pregunta. So the C family app is, this is what to, you we're going to go into now. And we're going to take the opportunity, if we haven't already done so, to um, download the app. You can Vamos download a tomar the esta app. oportunidad de bajar eh, esa aplicación si no lo hemos hecho hasta ahora. You can download the app. Pueden bajar la aplicación. From the app, uh, Apple oh, Store. You you de la tienda de, de Apple, de aplicaciones. So I'm just going to show you what you need to do here and I'll, I'll pause periodically. Le voy a enseñar ahora, demostrar qué es lo que tienen que hacer y periódicamente voy a pausar. App Store, and you're just going to click on the white A in the blue box. Entre, para entrar a, a la tienda 
de, de aplicaciones, le da presión a la, la, en la, la caja azul. And you're going to make sure that you can in search mode and click in the search bar and type in Seesaw. Entonces, en donde se busca, va entonces a escribir en el teclado Seesaw. Will bring you to the options you have. And Seesaw Family is here, so you can click right on the Seesaw Family. Eso le va entonces a dar eh, las opciones y va a ver que hay una opción que dice eh, Family y va a presionar ese. Take you to the Seesaw Parent and Family app. My Eso la va a llevar entonces a la aplicación de padres, eh, aplicación de padres y familia. But yours will say Get. So just click on the Get and it will download it. And it'll ask you for any authorization codes that you need. Entonces le va a pedir cualquier número de, aplica de autorización que necesite. And when I say authorization codes, I mean if you, from, from your phone, and that's between you and your uh, provider or you in the Apple store, if you need to put down any authorization to authorize it to be downloaded onto your phone. There is no cost for this. El número... El... Número de autorización, eso es entre usted y su, eh, y su teléfono, su proveedor de teléfono. Y esto no tiene costo, es gratis. Ok. So that's how you're going to get that. When I, while we're in the App Store, though. Cuando entremos a la tienda de, de aplicaciones. We also want to download the Mount Vernon City School District app. También queremos bajar el Mount Vernon City School, de, la aplicación de el sistema escolar de Mount Vernon. <coughs> you can also get that at the App Store. Ese también se puede obtener en la tienda de aplicaciones. Or the Google Play Store. O también en el Play Store de Google. This will also keep you up to date on your mobile device with what's esto happening también, in the district. Esto también lo mantendrá al día lo que está ocurriendo en el distrito. So I'm going to give us about two minutes to take the opportunity to download that now, if you would be so kind, if you haven't already done so. Si son tan amables, eh, por favor, eh, bajen esas aplicaciones. Eh, si no lo han hecho y le vamos a dar unos minutos para que hagan eso. So they need to download both CDs. I have a question. And the MVCSD. Tienen que bajar Excuse los me. dos, eh, el MVCSD y también el, el, la aplicación de CISO de familia. We have two questions. Yes. Mr. Andrew. Yes. Hi. Uh, I was just wondering Hi. about the apps that you wanted us to, um, that we were supposed to download. Is it the Khan Academy Kids, the, because I saw that earlier before we switched to this screen. That was the Seesaw Family app. It was above that. And below that uh -huh. was the Khan Academy, but just the Seesaw Family app. Okay. And because then the Mount Vernon CSD.org. Um, see the Mount Vernon CSD. Okay. The reason why I'm asking is because we independently already um, have our kid on it. So is there something that has to be like connected to the school? If you, when you say the, the Seesaw class app is different than the Seesaw family app. And we want you to download the Seesaw family app so that you can have a line of communication with the teacher and they can send messages to you. Y yeah, we, yeah, we, you already have okay. that? Yeah, we already have that. I was just kind of wondering what, like, um, about the other app that was on there, because we already have it. So I was just wondering if there's like a link to like through the school that he would have to use or something. Nope, just independent studies. Got you. La pregunta era de sobre las aplicaciones, que hay dos aplicaciones. Hay una de la familia donde el padre se puede comunicar con el maestro y hay una para el estudiante. Y también entonces la, la otra aplicación del sistema escolar de Mount Vernon que dice MVCSD. Esas son las dos aplicaciones que necesitan bajar. 
Is there, Miss um, Campbell, one do you more still question. have a question? Miss Ariel Campbell has a question. Her hand is raised. Yeah, I wasn't sure if we had answered it already. Oh no, that was from before. So yeah, okay. I'll go and un I un I undid it. It's okay. Thank you. Um, right. Um, excuse me, Franca. Franca had yeah. her hand up. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. I have. I had a question. I was. I just downloaded the CISO Family app. And I'm trying to like um, add my daughter to the class, and it's telling me that I have to, I have to scan a QR code or something. So, I don't so know. we're gonna wait on that, and we're gonna take that. That's the next step that we're going to do. Okay. okay. Yeah, uh, we're just downloading right now. We're just downloading. And and okay. um, I'm gonna move on at this point from the downloading, and hopefully answer those questions about what I need. So today, when we're looking at the app, we're going to be looking at how to log in. What the, Vamos a aprender the, cómo entrar eh, al sistema. And a tour of the dashboard. También vamos a tener, eh, el, vamos a ver lo que, cómo se, huh? se ve el sistema. Yeah, to, to use, so. And how to communicate with your um, students, your child's teacher. Y vamos a aprender también cómo comunicarse con el maestro de su estudiante. So if your teacher has all your email addresses. Si sí, su maestra tiene todas sus eh, eh, direcciones de su email. Okay, so I want to answer Miss Plaza's question in a moment. If the CISO, when you, um, they have your email address, they can send you an invite to sí, la maestra join. Tiene Tu email le, le puede mandar una, invita una invitación. To join the, uh, um, the app. And that's where the code or the scan code you will get to join the app for your child. Y ahí entonces que le van a dar el número de acceso, eh, la identificación de acceso para su estudiante, su niño. The Miss Plaza, if your student has an Mount Vernon device, iPad, the app is already on there. The family app is already downloaded. Si el and, niño tiene eh, un iPad que es del distrito escolar, entonces ya eh, tienen ya la aplicación bajada ahí. And we're hoping you'll get your invitations tomorrow. Is this Zoom strictly for the family app? If we've already had it, you can you can go if you've already had it, unless you want to know how to peruse around on the app. Si usted ya lo tiene, ya puede terminar, al menos que usted quiera ver cómo eh, cómo navegar eh, la aplicación. Okay, so I just wanted to say something. Rafael, I'm thinking in Spanish on one side of my brain and in English on the other. So I'm trying to get my words together in the right language. Okay. Um, so parents, it's very important that you have the family app on your personal phone. Para los padres es muy importante que tengan la aplicación en, en sus eh, teléfonos personales. Because if you're not with your child, Porque si usted no está con el niño o la niña. You can still message. De todos modos, messages. pueden mandarle mensajes eh, al maestro con sus preguntas. From the teacher. You can still communicate similarly to Class Dojo. Usted también eh, se puede comunicar con la maestra similar a la otra aplicación que se llama Class Dojo. Gail, mention how it can translate. Or do you want me to? You can do that because I don't know the details. Okay. So if your device, your phone, is set up for your source language. Si su teléfono está ya con, eh, con tiene un lenguaje, una, un idioma. The app, the family app will translate it to your native language. La aplicación le va a traducir a su, eh, a su lenguaje nativo, a su idioma nativo. We have up to 50 languages. 
tenemos hasta 50 idiomas. Ok. All right. So this is what this will look like for your student for you from this device. There's the home where you can see the work. Así es que se va a ver para usted. Ahí está eh, donde dice casa, donde usted puede ver el trabajo. If you have more than one student in Seesaw. Si usted tiene más de un estudiante en el sistema de Seesaw. You can see both of their work and messages in, journal, in the journal. Usted puede ver eh, el trabajo de ambos en mensajes del jornal. And this is the inbox. Y este es eh, la caja de donde tiene lo que entra. And this is where messages are going to be sent. Y aquí es donde le van a enviar o va, usted va a enviar mensajes. This is where notifications about work that's been posted. Y aquí es donde están las notificaciones de los eh, eh, trabajos que se han asignado. And that's the finished work, I should say. Y ese debo decir que son eh, trabajos que se han terminado. And on the lower end of the page, and I'm going to go in and show it live. Y en la página de abajo, y voy a enseñarlo en vivo. This is where you can see the teachers, um, um, you can respond to messages to the teacher. Aquí donde usted puede responder a mensajes que le haya mandado el maestro. So you can see the home. This is where I can see what's going on. Aquí en la casa donde después puede ver eh, lo que está ocurriendo. And the journal. Y el jornal. And this is where the messages I can send to my teacher are in here. This is the long student. But y we have this. Y aquí es donde puedo mandarle eh, mensajes eh, refiriéndose al estudiante. You can see what that looks like. Um, let me just come out of here for a second. Vamos a enseñarle cómo se ve eso. minutes left Sean just to let you know. I just want to show them down here is where you can message the teacher and send a message to the teacher. Aquí debajo es donde usted puede mandarle mensajes a la maestra y tener acceso o comunicarse con la maestra. So the in once the invite is sent and you receive it you can then start a di dialogue with the teacher. In this cuando, area. cuando le manden su invitación y usted lo reciba, entonces usted puede tom, eh, comenzar eh, empezar un diálogo con, con la maestra. And when you're emailing the teacher, you're just emailing the teacher. You're not emailing the whole class. Y cuando usted le envíe un email a la maestra, usted solo le está mandando el email a esta maestra y no a la clase entera. So it's just one-on-one -on -one communication. Es una comunicación de uno a uno. Are there any questions about this so far? Hasta ahora, ¿hay alguna, cualquier pregunta que usted tenga hasta ahora sobre cualquier cosa que se ha demostrado hoy? Okay. I just want to show you one other thing. Quiero enseñarle una cosa más. Again, if you could have other children, you can see lots of work in here. But de nuevo, can, si usted tiene más niños, usted puede ver todo su trabajo ahí. You can 
this is your child's work, you can send a message or comment on este their work. Este es el trabajo de su niño. Usted lo puede observar y puede mandar un comentario sobre el trabajo que usted vea. So you can type in a message. Puede ahí escribir un mensaje. Or record a message to your child. Because our children are young, they may not be able to read the message. O también puede grabar el mensaje. Como los niños son eh, chicos, son jóvenes, y quizá no puedan leer el mensaje. Se lo pueden grabar. So you can just click on this. Click on this button down here. Le da al botón de, con el micrófono. Y ahí pueden grabar. And then they would be able to see when they go back in, log in, they would get the recording from you as well. Y cuando ellos entren de nuevo, entonces pueden también tener acceso a la grabación de usted también. So for the teacher who, the, for the parent who is multitasking and going to school and working full time. Para los padres que están las cosas, eh, que están trabajando y también ayudando a sus niños, eh, le damos un aplauso a todos los padres que están haciendo múltiples trabajos, trabajos y ayudando a los niños en casa. You, yeah, can, but... you can still share some happy thoughts with your child if maybe they're sleeping when you get home and running off to work. Usted puede compartir de eh, algo con los niños si usted, ellos están durmiendo cuando usted se vaya al trabajo usted, eh, todavía pueden compartir con algo y dejárselo grabado the, I want to answer a question the journal is private you're only seeing your journal and la, we'll make sure that the teachers make them private yes. la aplicación de jornal es privado, es solo lo pueden ver usted y la maestra y vamos a asegurarnos de que la maestra lo haga privado, que solo pueda ver la maestra y usted. You, teachers, you want to set your, and that's something we can talk about at another time, but you want to set it up to one-to-one -one devices so they're only seeing their work. Y la maestra lo van a, a poner para que solo usted y eh, la maestra y el padre de uno a uno lo puedan, lo puedan ver. But the family app, you're only seeing your students, your child's work. Y también en la aplicación familiar, usted solo podrá ver el trabajo del estudiante suyo, de su niño. So, I just wanted to share something from another parent. Quiero compartir algo de otro padre. And I want to say that I appreciate parents when you ask questions and share, because we all y, learn. Y quiero decir que yo aprecio mucho cuando los padres se... Eh, Comparten algo o hacen preguntas. So a parent asks their teacher for their child's code. Un padre le pidió eh, el código, a la maestra le pidió el código del niño. And they put both apps on their cell phone. Y ellos pusieron eh, ambos eh, aplicaciones en sus teléfonos. So they have the regular student app and the family app on their phone so they can see everything. Ellos tienen eh, ambas aplicaciones en su teléfono, el del estudiante y el del padre, para que así puedan ver todo. So that may help parents who want to multitask. Eso puede ayudarle a los padres que quieren, quieren hacer eh, eh, ambos trabajos. Sí. It's also a good idea. Es también es buena idea. If, because sometimes we're not always home. Porque no todo el tiempo estamos en casa. The students can then access it off the phone and do their work. estudiantes entonces puedan verlo en, en su teléfono. Si están fuera de la casa, pueden tener acceso en su teléfono. I love what I learned from parent, from other people. I love it. Thank you so much. A so mí me encanta have... cuando yo aprendo cosas de los padres también. Muchas, muchísimas gracias por enseñarme a mí también. We have two technology geniuses on. I know that our head IO Dr. Superman Joseph McGrath is on. And I have a question. Maybe he wants to patch in and answer it. Or maybe Sean. Tenemos eh, dos eh, 
expertos en tecnología. Está también con nosotros el doctor Joseph McGrath y a ver si el doctor McGrath o la señora eh, Sean uh, quiere dar la respuesta. Will what's in this app follow these students in kindergarten and first grade? Oh, I'm going to jump in. La pregunta es que si lo que está en esta aplicación va a seguir con el estudiante cuando ya estén en kindergarten o en el primer grado. So I'm sorry if Joe wanted to answer, but I got excited because yes, that's the beauty. Sí, esta es la, la, la belleza de este programa. That the work that they're doing is an online portfolio. Que el programa, el trabajo que ellos están haciendo es eh, un portfolio que ellos tienen en línea. And as we work with the teachers, y cuando vamos trabajando con los maestros, we are going to help them create folders va, that, go ahead. Vamos a ayudarle a crear un cuaderno. For their, what, we're going, what I'm going to teach them to call it is their wow work. Lo que vamos eh, a decirle su trabajo de wow. Ese es el programa, eh, el trabajo que ellos van a tener en ese cuaderno es el trabajo wow. So the students can put in their best work or what they feel is their best representation of their work. Así los estudiantes pueden entrar ahí eh, lo que ellos consideren que es su mejor trabajo. El, el, el mejor trabajo que ellos consideren que han hecho lo pueden poner aquí en este cuaderno y mantenerlo. Mr. McGrath, you want to add anything? No, I think you're, 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 you're doing great. The only thing is that when you have years of work, you can really appreciate how much the children have grown. El doctor so McGrath dice that... que cuando usted tiene años de trabajo acumulado así, usted puede notar lo que ha crecido el niño. It's amazing what we'll see from the beginning of this year to the end of this, to the end. And could you imagine seeing it for three years? Es maravilloso ver lo que el niño va a hacer este año, del principio del año eh, hasta que termine el año. Entonces, imagínese lo que se puede ver cuando el niño tiene este programa por tres años. Does anybody else have any? Miss Grant, you had your hand up. Do you still have a question? Alguna otra pregunta? La señora Grant tenía la mano alzada. No <laughs> You're good. Okay, so Sorry. we're at. Sorry, Rafael. <laughs> That's okay. I was just saying everything was. was I, actually, having you interpret really slowed me down, so it was great. <laughs> I'm sorry. Good, it's good. You need no, that. No, I need to slow down. I need to slow down. Hey, you were good. Dr. White? Um, I just want to thank all of my parents. Y quiero dar las gracias a todos los padres. I sent 80 emails and we had 58 people on today. Yo le mandé 80 emails y teníamos hoy 58 que entraron. So I'm so thankful. Y estoy muy agradecida. Thank you to all my staff that are on tonight. I appreciate you. Gracias a todo mi personal que están aquí esta noche. Lo aprecio And mucho. Our next meeting will be November 12 th nuestra próxima reunión será el 12 de noviembre. At 6 o'clock. A las 6 p.m. And we are going to discuss. Y vamos a discutir. Students coming back to school in person on November 16th. Cuando los estudiantes van a volver a la escuela en persona el 16 de noviembre. Our special guest. Nuestra eh, invita invitado especial will be the superintendent of buildings and grounds. Será el superintendente de plantel. And look out for our first family event. Y también eh, ten en busca de nuestro primer evento familiar. We will have family bingo night on October 22nd. 
vamos a tener eh, bingo familiar el 22 de octubre. So we will send out further communication. Le vamos a entonces a enviar comunicaciones para informarle de esto. And what about the children who are going to be virtual? We will have a separate meeting with those students with the virtual teacher. Para los estudiantes que van a tener eh, asignaciones o escuela virtual, vamos a tener eh, también una reunión con las maestras virtuales. Ruth raised your hand. I'm sorry. Yes, I apologize. I, I came in towards the end and I missed a lot of it. I just wanted to, because I was a little confused. Um, are these also including the Friends for Tots children? Friendship for Tots uses the Google. People. They don't use Seesaw. They use okay, so, Google and Class Dojo. Correct. Okay, so this is not for, this is basically not for the Friendship for Tots. They have their own thing going on. No. Our Lady of Victory, the West Cop sites, and Friendship use Google. They're a Google platform and they are a class dojo platform. Thank you. Un padre preguntaba eh, sobre eh, la aplicación de Friendship for, eh, for Tots y eh, la doctora White Wallace le explica que eso es una aplicación de Google, no eh, con esta aplicación. It's November 12th is the next meeting, I believe, Dr. White Wallace. Yes, said. at six o'clock and family bingo night will be October 22nd. It will be digital, online, bingo, and we're going to have prizes also. De nuevo, eh, la próxima reunión va a ser el 12 de noviembre a las 6 y la, eh, la noche de bingo familiar va a ser el 22 de octubre y va a ser eh, un juego eh, digital y vamos a tener eh, regalos y premios eh, para ese bingo virtual. So, Ruth raised her hand again. Ruth, do, do you want to follow up on that? Nancy? Actually, I wanted to add just an, okay, so just clear, just to clear, because I went out, I didn't know about this meeting originally. So I just want to, though these aren't for parents that are attending Friendship for Tots and Our Lady of Mercy, like you said, correct? Is this just for? They, they will be. And when they are, I will send an email to those parents when okay. the topic is specific to them. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. So parents, look for your invites, not only through email, but in your Seesaw app. Para los padres, eh, ten atento a sus invitaciones, no solamente en los eh, emails, sino también en la aplicación de CISO. I have a question, please. Sure, go ahead. Okay, um, so I just want to know what's the, the schedule for the day, because, you know, since they switched from Zoom to CISO, uh, we can't even follow up with the schedule, because after, after my daughter does like the Zoom from 9 to about 10 o'clock, and that's the end for the day, she has to work on CISO. No, it's the same schedule. It's the same schedule. Within your schedule, you'll see digital time when they're supposed to do their Waterford and their Seesaw. It's the same schedule. There's no schedule change. Oh, it's the same schedule with the Zoom? So it's and the Seesaw. Yeah, but we but yes. we are trying to log into Zoom. I mean, we've been trying to log into Zoom since the beginning of this week. And it's been really hard because we can't get into Zoom. They are not, the host is not letting us in. You know, and we couldn't log into CISO until today. So it's just been very frustrating who's, for us. Who's your teacher? Um, it's Tarado. Tarado, I think. Okay. All right. I'll reach out to you. I'll give you a call tomorrow. Thank you. Quieren aclarar que si tenían la aplicación de Zoom, es el mismo horario. Se mantiene el mismo horario con la aplicación Zoom o la aplicación nueva. Okay. Good evening. Yes. Um, I have two questions. One in reference to the Waterford app that's on the iPad. Um, sure. Um, we haven't been able to access that. I have to go through the district website to, to enter. 
Yes, you always enter through class link. Always. Yeah, that would be no. I didn't so, want to. So, that, so then she cannot use so the app. So on your on your you should, the app. No, you <laughs> never go straight to the app. Mm. Yeah, you have to. I was gonna say because okay. your student is registered through the class link app. Once you're in the class link app, you can then click on Waterford. Okay. Inside the class link app, not on the class link app. You can yes. also access your seesaw that way also. And when you class link, it's gonna ask you for your location. You put an MT from Mount Vernon, sign in with your student information and all your apps. Okay. And the second question, as you yeah. were speaking, Dr. White Wallace, you said that um, that the remote students, the ones who are gonna be remote only, um, those students are gonna have a different teacher. I was just making sure that yeah, most likely. We have 14 students out of all the classes. We have 14 students who will not be returning for the school year. So we're most likely going to have a teacher for them. Okay. Thank you so much. You are so welcome. We have another raised hand from uh, Ms. Coy. Yeah, um, you said not to go directly to the um, Waterford app because I go directly in the app for my son into the app on the iPad for Waterford. You should go through class link. Is it and it's working? Yeah, it works perfectly and it keeps, you know, when times every 15 minutes and um, lags out and the teacher has not given me any complaints that like he hasn't been lagging in. Actually, today was the first uh, because I was having issue lagging into uh, Mount Vernon district. It said that he was not in it. So uh, Ms. G helped me. And today before the meeting, I tried it just to make sure it was not working. And it is. So thank you. And I logged in and the apps are there. And I and you could access C. I mean, yeah, not C. So Waterford through there. Yes. But it was working before. It was working before. So I wonder, is that going to affect any? I mean, any progress you're in Ms. Made? G's class? You're in Ms. G's yes. class? Yes. Okay, I'll, Ms. G and I will take a look at that, okay? Please, yes, because I was, I was since I didn't, you know, I, I didn't, I wasn't having access to um, class link. I, will, I mean, I, he was using the app and it would time him out every 15 minutes and we would go in and it would, like, I didn't have no issue at all. It doesn't sound like you had a problem. So I'll take a look and make sure it was recorded. Yeah, and even today when I tried it, uh, I logged into the Mount Vernon City School District then class link. When I tried the app, it would say you're already you're already um, you're already in progress in another. So I mean, like since I just tried it. Okay. But if you can get back to me, I would really appreciate it. <laughs> sure. Miss Coit, is that how you say it? Yes, that's okay. correct. All right, I'll take a look at it. And your son and your child's same last name? Yes, Daniel Coit. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Can I just say thank you very much because it was like, I know I'm really good. I mean, like I understood Seesaw, but the explanation was really good. So I just want to say thank you to the four of you. It was really nice. Thank You're you. so welcome. We're so glad we can help you. And we are here to help you. I have the phone on me only when I'm not sleeping. Is it away from me? I'm sleeping. Is it away from me? So feel free to email me anytime. If you don't hear from me in 24 hours, it could have got lost in the 300 emails I get a day. So just feel free to email me back. It's okay. We're here to help everybody out. La doctora White Wallace dice que ella siempre tiene su teléfono y pueden mandarle un email cualquier vez que, que desee. Y si eh, eh, no le da la respuesta enseguida es porque ella tiene 300 emails que contestar. Pero ella tratará de mandarle una respuesta a cualquier pregunta que usted tenga. I want a special thank you to Miss Rowan. You did an awesome job today. I want to thank you so much for being our partner. Le quiero dar una eh, muchas gracias especiales a la señora Ron. Ella fue maravillosa hoy y gracias por ser nuestra compañera en en este trabajo. And a special special to my new amigo. Rafael. Y muchas gracias a nuestro nuevo amigo Rafael, el intérprete. Thank you for your work. 
It's so important that all the parents are able to be informed. Es muy importante de que todos los padres estén informados. So Rafael, um, you make sure you put November 12th on your I calendar, will. okay? Noviembre 12, nos okay. vemos. Estaré aquí también. Awesome job, guys. Thanks so much. Thank you so much. Good night, Bye -bye. everyone. Sí, buenas noches a todos. Good night. Thank, thank you so you. much. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Bye bye. Good night. Good night. And we were waiting for. Bye, Carissa. Hi, <laughs> Hi, and hi, Nathan. <laughs> My parents. <laughs> Bye. Hey, Sandy. Goodbye. <laughs> hey, Gus. What's up, Gus? We going. I'm going. I go. <laughs> I know. I'm getting. I have a six thirty. You're already late. I'm that jumping. I know. I'm. I'm I got the oven on, my kids in the shower waiting for me to scrub her up. It's just madness in this place. Well, I, I hope it was informative and I hope it was is, was well done. Listen, I was texting Sheena before she was on. I was like, Sean is slaying I hope tonight. so. I hope so. So um, we're we so need to.